Hi guys, it's Funky here at Scale Street Garage. Uh, this is the full custom build. It's the damaged AT Cobra from the scene in the movie Iron Man. I've been looking forward to this build. Um, when El Per first put the uh, the post up about it, about the collaboration, I was well interested. Um, wheels have got to go, the screen comes off. Um, got to alter the seat in, uh, replace the roll bar. First of all, just got to take it apart, just drill out the uh, the rivet posts. Uh, it's a, a 1.5 mil drill. It's having two millimeter button head uh, self tapping screws later to hold it together. So once they're drilled out, I took, uh, used a, a larger drill bit just to take the um, the flange off the top of the rivet post and it's just a case of popping it open remove the seats leave them for adjusting later the screen comes out that can just go to one side to spare that's not going to get used on this build And I'm here. I'm uh, just filing out the, uh, the little edges off the top of the rivet post just to make sure that it all goes back together nice and easy afterwards. These wheels pop out nice and easy on these. Not difficult to know with it being a plastic base. This can go in the spares department. Let's just uh, test the little screws, make sure they, they go in nicely. Nice and fiddly because they're tiny. And uh, just put the base on quickly just to make sure it all goes together nicely. And for the front one, I've been looking forward to this build. Um, when El Per first put the uh, the post up about it, about the collaboration, I was well interested. So here we go. Just about to take the. Uh, Paint off using the good old shitty strip. Don't like it that much. Um, kind of, it works, but it takes forever. Um, by AC Cobra, see in about two hours' time. So, uh, whilst that's in the stripping mode, we can. Uh, we can adjust these, just snip off the, the old roll cage because that's not that's not good enough for this one. It's totally in the wrong place. And just sand it back so that the, uh, the little bits are out of the way. And I'm just, just filing the, uh, the chassis just to fit the, because I'm changing the wheels. It's a, a larger axle, so I'm just opening out the channels, just using a file. Got to be a bit careful with these, because with the bases being plastic, it don't take a lot, and you, you've gone too far. Whereas when you do it to the, the die cast ones, you've really got to work at it to skate open. Many times you have to use a drill. Quick test, and yep, yeah, fits nicely. And they'll 
drop in there nicely as well. Sweet. Let's see if this stuff has done its job. It's about an hour later now, like it was. Let's go searching. Ooh. Here it is. Has it worked? Yeah. I was a bit surprised at this. Depends on the paint. I've, I've had to leave one model in there overnight and it still wasn't completely clear the next day. I mean, not all of this has gone off, has come off. A lot of it has. Just pick out the little little bits. Just using a, this is a, an airbrush pick and uh, for when you get a a blockage. Nice sharp little needle on these. It's ideal for this job. I don't use it for the airbrush anymore, so I'm quite happy to to use it for this. And also, it's got the the cap that screws on the end, so when you put your hand in your toolbox, you don't get it stuck in your fingers. Don't take long just to pick out the little, little remaining bits. So these come out with a wire brush anyway. And yeah, for the rotary tool. Keep this down on, on a low speed and that way it prevents the steel wires from flinging out everywhere, sticking sticking in your skin and in your in your clothing and oh goes everywhere. If you turn it up too too high. Um, just always make sure that you you wear eye protection because them um, little piece of wire do fly out and they're like a missile. So no doubt one of them in your eye be like a javelin. Straight up to the hospital it would be. And I'm not looking forward to that, so I always wear eye protection. Cleans it nice and easy. Uh, there's no real oxidisation on this. It's, it's a, a new vehicle anyway. There's a couple of little scratches on it and that was all. Literally just a quick flick over. This cleans up that nicely. It would have been nice to have done a candy colour over the top. Right, just comparing the damage from the um, online photos and just marking on with the marker pen where approximately the damage is and where I need to um, sculpt it back. That's where his leg went. So we'll see how that goes. And yeah, it's just a case of grinding it back. It's a, a 40 grit here on the rotary tool, so it rips it back quite well. I 
you've got to remember is when you're doing stuff like this, the uh, the castings can get damn hot. Um, got a friend in the states who's uh, got no feelings in his in his hands, or he's got a lack of feelings in his hands. And I remember that when I first met him on Instagram, he got blisters on his hands from he was um, he was doing rotary tooling on. Um, on a 164 scale and it got that hot it blistered his hands and he didn't even know he'd done it didn't even realize he'd done it because say lack, lack of feeling but luckily it healed up quickly It's just here. We're just just trying to replicate the damage as best we can, um, and also it gives a good key for the epoxide putty. I was having a, co a coffee with a a really 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 close friend um he's more of a brother to me than a than a friend and i was telling about this um this collaboration build i went i don't know what what car to do and he went about the iron man i went what i said no car i said no 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 he said the ac cobra i went oh yeah so I had a look and I went, well, I don't know, you know. He said, no, it'll look good. It'll look good. I said, it'll be a bitch to do. He said, yeah. He said, well, you'll enjoy doing it. And it, it's quite, quite right. I absolutely loved doing it. It was brilliant. <clears throat> so uh, the AC Cobra here is uh, thanks to Roy. Cheers, mate. I was trying to bend this bonnet down and I'm being ever so careful. I was trying to tweak it down to, to get it similar to uh, in the photographs. And I was thinking any minute now, this is going to go snap. You know, and it's one of them point, it's one of them times when if it snapped, it wouldn't matter because you could just fill it or whatever. But then when you when you go to bend something back just a fraction and it snaps, it's the usual way. And this thing, I twist it around and everything, no problems whatsoever. So I don't, sod's low I think, sod's low. There we go, just using the, the little burr tool now, a little, um, little spherical burr tool on the end. Try and get a little bit of the detail in there. You'll see a hole going right the way through the wing, but that doesn't matter because, as you'll see, we're using a bit of milliput, um, two part epoxide. If you've not used this stuff, it, it is good. It, does take a little while to go off, but it, it is good stuff and it sands back nicely, etc. And it's like most epoxide potties, you just mix it evenly, 50-50, one with part A, one with part, and with part A and equally with part B, and mix them together. Um, I don't know which is which. Um, like I say, just one is part A and one is part B, but... There we go, just mix it now until it's a uniform colour. Got no streaks in it or anything like that. And the beauty of this stuff is it doesn't smell. It's pretty much order free. Um, I've got some other stuff and it stinks to eye heaven. Um, but it is good. But I prefer Millipot.
and you might notice as I'm actually doing this um, I put wheel arches on to widen the arches and then I take it off again you see there I just wetting my finger if you wet your finger and rub it it, um, it smooths it out really nicely I'm just trying to get that where where the vehicle crushed down and it squashed it and so it, um, kind of the back end of the wing panel um, ends up squashing outwards so I'm just trying to replicate that at the minute doesn't matter if I go overboard on it because I could just grind it back anyway and that's, that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to fill it roughly um, and then use use the rotary tool again with the small bar and just sculpt it to the shape actually the final shape I want it works out rather well I've got to fill the hole in um, at the top of the wiper valance there as well uh, where the screen goes so we, we're not pointing that windscreen back in there so that will need to fill and the little bit um, behind where the driver's seat goes um, yeah, I've filled it already you'll see there And just as you'll see where the um, driver's side of the front valance is um, actually folded over and caused a crease um, in the photos so I'm just just trying to get in there and make, make that opening make it a little bit more visible Now it's all dried off and um, it takes about an hour uh, probably just just over um, between one and two hours anyway and it's ni nice and hard now I can just go in there with the rotary tool and just sculpt it now to how I actually wanted it it's a lot easier than uh, what is trying to do the actual die cast itself It's 600 grit there, sanded it back. I'm 
just sanding it back now just try and get a little bit nearer to paint Drilling the new holes and the location for the roll, roll cage and what I'm using here is um, 1.5 millimeter copper um, solid draw copper wire Now for the brace, trying to make sure I don't super glue myself to it. And of course, good old baking soda. So I'm just reinforcing it underneath. That's the beauty of it, it cures pretty much instantly so you can get straight onto it then to uh, to file it back and sand it back. Um, initially it's file it back <laughs> it goes off like concrete. Now I'm just testing the interior. Um, I know it's not going to fit properly at the minute because we've brought the, um, the valance down. Um, the bottom of the screen so to match it in the photographs so now we've got to distort the the dashboard and bend it downwards and the easiest way to do that is warm it up get nice and hot there with the lighter and just just squeeze it down hold it for a second whilst it cools Quick test. Sweet. So now we can go with some spraying. And what I'm using here is the uh, the Tamiya dark blue and a touch of the Tamiya silver mixed together so that way it just lightens down the, the blue a little tiny bit but it also gives it that nice metallic colour. Looks very very pale in colour there but that's um, it's like 200 LEDs going around the, uh, the spray booth so there's a lot of light there there you go you can see it's, it's actually a lot darker now just making the the screen um, where, where he snapped he smashed the windscreen out and he snapped all the frame in the movie um, so I'm just trying to replicate that and this is just garden wire um, it's stainless coated garden wire and once again that will just be stuck in with super glue I'm 
once we've got it where we want it so we've only got those um, reference pictures from the from the internet and I know there's a lot of pictures on there of this car but there all seems to be the same pictures just at different um, resolutions Now for the decals, um, printed these up and I wanted some tyres uh, with the actual writing on there because um, they're the Goodyear Eagles and I couldn't get any so I've also printed some of them off as well. Uh, we'll, we'll be sticking that on there. At the minute I'm just cutting out the, the stripes so we can get them on and make it and it should look like an AC Cobra by then, hopefully, fingers crossed. You'll see I'm just struggling putting these decals onto the tyres. I knew it was going to be fiddly being 1 64th scale, but this tests my little fat fingers out, I'll tell you now. I was happy with the result. Not 100% perfect, but I think it looks all right. And I can assure you now, um, if this wasn't a voiceover, there'd be lots of bleeps going on. Let's just say it's a good job of printed extra ones. Now we're going for the numbers. And to get these nice and circular, I the black print on the white water slide backing and cut out using hole punch. Uh, I've got a hole punch set uh, for making rubber washers and things like that and it just happened to be that the largest one was just the right size. So that's what I used. I was quite happy with them. I was really happy with how these decals came out. Luckily I've got um pretty good quality water slide. Um I know there's different qualities out there and I'd advise if you're if you're going in for doing it, don't go for the cheapest ones. Um you'll be disappointed. So I go for the mediocre price ones. Not the cheapest ones, and they seem to be fine for me. So there we go, with its wheels on, all back together. But I think there's still part missing, isn't there? Don't you? I mean, after all, it was Iron Man that crashed onto it, wasn't it? So... Let's make an Iron Man, shall we? Start off some more of the garden wire. Let's make a little wire frame, first of all. Let's speed things up a little bit now. 
just trying to get into the right shape as in it was in the photo and then this is um, this isn't the milliput this is what we call Dr. Ding's ding stick uh, this drives a, a lot quicker so I'm using this it's just a case of molding in um, as near as I can to the actual um, shape as I actually want and if ever you do anything like this it's, it's easier if you paint it in black or a dark colour um, and then when you're sanding it back you can actually see where you've been etc so I was happy with that so now it's doing the red I know it looks brown there but it is actually red um, and let's put some gold in there as well just to, to make it up there he is there he is all done and before you shout it's the wrong I am man yeah we know that um, but this is the same one as what Richard Rollins used when they had the AC Cobra. Um, people associate these colours with the Airman rather than the original colours. So here it is. All done with all the damage and the bonnet open so you can still see the engine. There it is. Bonnet down. I'm thinking this is looking rather nice. Hope you'll agree. And... Now with the Iron Man, and there we go, one scene from the movie. Hope you, uh, hope you liked it guys, cheers for watching, give it a thumbs up if you like it, give it a share if you could, and uh, watch, watch the other videos as well, uh, there's a few others in the actual build off, and their names will be coming up in a minute, so you can go and check their channels as well.